We're here at the opening for Identity, works by Christopher Rivas, one of my good friends, and um, gosh, he's just such an amazing guy. Hello, my name is Christopher Rivas, and this is my show, Identity, where I'm having figurative oil paintings being exhibited, my whole past year's work. I'm um, very excited to show this work. It's a new stage in uh, my career where I'm taking many, many inspirating uh, paintings from the past, specifically from the Baroque era, and trying to reintroduce those concepts into modern day uh, society. I have an interesting painting right here of a friend that I painted, um, trying to portray him in the light that he lives in every day. So. Every item you see with the models is a personal item, uh, something that relates to them as individuals. Uh, hope everyone enjoys the work. And today's my birthday. My birthday happens to be the exact day of the show. I'm turning 22, and that's also an exciting reason to come, so yeah. Uh, talk to you about your self-portrait over here. Tell us a little bit about your process. What made you want to do, I mean, this self-portrait? I know you've done many different portraits in the past. What was the inspiration for this particular portrait you've well, done? I would say doing paintings of people that are close to me makes me very interested in their identity. It makes a big impact on my process, getting to know them and painting them. So I wanted to put myself in that position. And I was inspired by a painting that Vermeer did of uh, Lady in the Red Hat, which is an incredible painting, but is also very uh, um, questionable in terms of who the person is. Nobody has been able to find out who the model is, uh, whether it's a famous person, a relative, a loved one. And I thought that that was a very interesting investigation that has, been go that has gone into these old paintings from the Renaissance, where the identity is somewhat lost and so I thought I would want to investigate my own persona in that same position where I'm trying to reinvestigate who I am in the same way that I investigate other people. people. And did you find out who you are, I guess, by doing this painting I, I, a little bit more than when you started? I find out more, more and more things about why I do painting and why I paint the people that I paint. So a lot of it is... is, is uh, a reflection on how I do things, not necessarily how I label myself. But so it's very therapeutic, and I, and I enjoy painting other people in the in this way. And I'll probably be doing it for a long, long time. Over here we have Reed Moninger, who went to school with Chris for, and likewise myself. And uh, he's an artist himself. And I would like to hear his thoughts on uh, Chris's self-portrait here. Well, I think that it's a really unique style he chose. Using the gloss to go over the paint kind of gives it a shimmer. And overall, I think he did a really good job, especially with his blending. And one of my favorite things he did here was the facial expression. It's something you wouldn't see Chris doing, which makes it kind of funny. <laughs> off to graduate school, I'm uh, off to Montclair uh, State University, which is way out in the East Coast, right near New York City. And I'm very excited to go there for a two-year program and further investigate uh, my, pra my practice. So, yeah.
Thank you.